Hello everyone, this is Sharon here from 247 Techie and in this video we have the OnePlus VR loop. So this is the OnePlus VR loop and I was not really very interested in buying it. I will be telling you why in this video. And uh, this is the loop VR uh, that is uh, made by Ant VR, with the same company that made the VR headset for Lenovo as well. Overall they have a reputation of making good uh, VR uh, headsets and uh, in this one also it proves to be same thing so this is the box of the phone and at the back of the box we see that the mrp of the headset is written as 300 rupees and everything else is just uh, basic stuff so when we unbox the box we have a couple of things so one is uh, a rubber cloth quite soft uh, to clean the lenses uh, of the headset this is the first thing and and we are branding is on it the second thing is a vr loop uh, where the qr code is there so you need a qr code to get it uh, enabled and this is it you actually don't need it for the oneplus uh, app uh, which will be live streaming the uh, press conference the loop app for oneplus 3 la launch events so this is the vr headset nothing inside the box nothing else inside the box and this is the vr headset and overall it does looks good the, the construction is also quite good so as you can see there's oneplus branding as well and uh, quite uh, nicely done as well and uh, these are the straps so these are there are three straps i've already tried it out so that's why it's combined otherwise you have to combine the straps like this and uh, there are three straps left right and top and um, as we can see it does uh, feel also the quite decent it is made up of plastic and uh, these straps are uh, uh, you can adjust the size according to your head and uh, according to the comfort level but uh, the weight of the headset is a lot so the comfort level would be always be a little low and these are the lenses which can be adjusted according to your uh, own eyes so as you can see the lenses can be adjusted it is quite uh, dirty right now i have not cleaned it but uh, the scratches aren't there so don't worry and uh, this is how you fix a phone inside it and uh, there's no button inside so once you enable uh, so once you enable uh, something like a movie or something and put it in uh, google uh, through google cardboard then it will always be st still there you have to take out the phone pause it or uh, do anything else so there's no button nothing uh, unlike the last year's google cardboard that they supplied uh, it had a button for pause play so one touch and there's also written plus and the uh, other side is also written plus but there's no significance of it but i can definitely say that uh, there's uh, as it uh, has no button that's why i'm not really very much into this actually it's just the hype uh, that is over here there is no relevance of this VR headset. So this is actually useful for only the launch event. So go into the app, enable it and put your phone inside the VR headset and forget it. So after the launch event, uh, it cannot be used because as there is no button, nothing. So you cannot do anything else. So you have to always take out the phone and uh, go to press anything else and then uh, put in a, another phone. And we did also put in the OnePlus 2 and it supports all phone up to 6 inches and uh, we this was 5.5 inch and the placement was uh, quite decent. So yep, uh, I can definitely say that uh, it is uh, just useless after the launch event and launch event also they, you will also feel that uh, it's uh, just a little bit burden to use as it weighs over to 355 grams plus the phone so if your phone weighs or oh, under uh, around 150 grams plus 350 grams of the vr headset it will easily be 500 grams and 500 grams on your head is a lot so yep um, this is not really the best thing that they, they could have done but uh, the google cardboard last year was good but this uh, became a little bit uh, too heavy and I can definitely say, see that uh, the motive is good. They are trying something new and it is cheap, but uh, it is just all the hype and uh, nothing else. So I can definitely take a pass on it. And I actually did take a pass on it. Uh, so this VR headset belongs to one of my friend. I actually wasn't really interested in buying it. I did try it on the first sale, second sale. I skipped it and one of my friend got it. So he borrowed it to me for making the video. And that's what I'm doing. I will not be using it. And actually uh, at the time of uh, recording this audio, the VR headset has already gone back. So yeah. So thank you very much guys for watching this video. This was Sharun here from 24-7 Techie showing you guys the OnePlus Loop VR. 
powered by and we are and uh, initial impressions or whatever you say is decent uh, and uh, the quality is good the build quality is good but uh, usefulness of this vr headset is still to be known as the as there is no button and no button is a deal breaker for me and uh, do hit the like button do subscribe to channel and do share this video for everyone who would uh, like to see it and if you guys have any comments or anything you would like to share with me do comment on the video and i will definitely get in touch with you and um, i would really like to see you in my next video till then see ya